Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you've been well. We have another handbag reveal. This time it is the Longchamp Le Playage in the small size. So this arrived a few days ago. I've been using it every day. Love this bag and I cannot wait to talk all about it in this video. So as some of you would know, I have this bag in the large size with the long handle and I love to use it for work, love to use it for travel. It is like my ultimate tote bag and I have it in black. Then I loved it so much that I thought, you know what, I might try out the medium size. It might be, you know, just a nice option and I wanted to get it in the color paper. But for me, the medium just wasn't working well because I find I'm either a really large bag person or a small bag person. So I decided to part ways with that, but I still loved that paper color. So that is why I opted for the small size in paper. And this color in particular is often sold out and I can see why because it goes with a lot of the light colors in my wardrobe and then also the dark colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through what's in my bag because I feel like that is the best way to share with you guys the capacity of the bag. I mean, even with all of my things in here, there is still so much room. It's an organized mess at the moment, but I actually don't mind it for a change. It's kind of nice just throwing everything in there and just being a little more casual with it. So loving that. And I'll also share with you guys what doesn't fit inside the bag at the end, because there are some common things that someone might want to carry and it might help some of you make that decision. So we have my mobile phone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. This case is beautiful, by the way. I purchased it from Timo. I'll link it below. Anything I can, I'll link below. Um, we have my Ray-Ban sunglasses. They're not actually in here because I left them in the car, but I wear the hexagonal wireframe ones. We've got my Louis Vuitton card holder. This is in the contrast monogram print. Really, really love that. We have my Louis Vuitton four key holder. This just holds all of my house keys, work fob, all of that stuff. We've got an Aesop or Aesop, I don't know how you actually pronounce this brand, but this is a hand cream and it is in the scent Mandarin Rind Rosemary Leaf and Cedar Atlas. Really, really nice, quite a strong smell, but as you can see, I'm getting through it. We've got a lip gloss, this is the one I have on today, it is the Fenty Beauty what is it? Gloss Bomb Riri. I'm really, really liking this color. The purpley shades for me, I feel like really go with my complexion. We've got a comb. Can't go wrong with a comb. We've got some gum. This is the True Gum in this um, flavor mint. We've got a pen. I mean, not much more to say about that. We've got my hand sanitizer. This is one of those refillable spray ones, and it's a, such a nice light mist that you simply just apply it like that. I don't use hand sanitizer a lot, generally just after I fuel up the car or after I do the groceries. I've got a reusable shopping bag. I use this all the time and whenever I don't pack it in my bag, I am missing it. So love that. And then I have my little vintage Chanel pouch, which holds a couple more essentials. What have we got in here? We've got a little roll on perfume. We've got my Apple AirPods. We've got a Chanel lip balm and we have an iPhone charging cord and I've used my little cord organizers. I will link these below, but they're just so good to keep it all compact in your bag. So that's what I keep in this little pouch and that is everything that's in the bag. So as you can see, it carries a lot. It has like a white lining, which can get dirty quite quickly, I will say, but I mean, that doesn't bother me too much. And I have noticed, I mean, there's no marks on it yet, but Oh yeah, see just little ones there. Obviously compared to the black, it definitely gets dirty easier, but for me it is worth it because I just love this color so much. And something else that I sometimes carry with me, not all the time, but I just wanted to share with you in case you're someone that carries a book with you. A book will definitely fit in there with everything else with ease. This is actually what I'm reading at the moment, The Bee and the Orange Tree. This book is a little bit slow, I must admit, however, I'm only up to chapter six, so I've still got a while to go. And it is the untold story of the woman who invented fairy tales. And it is set in 1699 in Paris. So I was like, yup, that is me written all over. But yeah, if you like to carry a book, it'll fit in there. Um, what else is a common thing that people might want to carry in there? I've got an iPad here. Does indeed fit in the bag, not directly across the bottom. Like it's a little bit, I don't know, there's the corner there. But it will fit in there, especially if you're traveling or anything, it'll just kind of sit diagonally. So if you do have an iPad that you like to carry, yes, it will fit in there, but I wouldn't say 
yeah, I wouldn't say it's the perfect fit, but it will. It'll go. And then I have my A5 planner. So I haven't been carrying this with me much lately. I've kind of just been leaving it home on my desk. But if you are someone that likes to carry your large planner, unfortunately the A5, I mean the A5 size fits. But I mean, it's a bit of a tight, actually, is it tight? No, it'll fit, but you know, it makes the bag a little bit wonky and it is, it's in there tight. So if you had to carry it, you could, and you could probably just leave it unzipped if you're just popping down to like the local cafe or something to do some work. But personally, I won't be carrying my A5 planner. But I'm really loving this bag because it's carrying everything that I would need. If I am looking at carrying, you know, my planner or my iPad, I will jump up to the large size. But generally day to day, that's not the stuff I'm taking with me. And while I've got you, I wanted to compare the two sizes. So this is the little pouch with the top handle and this is the small size. So as you can see, huge difference in size. This is great as a little catch-all inside your bag. So yeah, I feel like I have the perfect little collection of Longchamp. I've got the very small little pouch, I've got the small size for every day, and then I've got the large size for travel and work. And I honestly think they're the only sizes I need. And if I do want to add more Longchamp pieces to my collection, I'll probably just get those sizes in different colors and variations. So really, really happy with this. If you guys have any questions about this bag, let me know in the comments below. I will for sure answer them for you. And I'll also link this bag below. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you do because I do a lot of outfit of the days where you'll be able to see me styling this piece. So that is the Longchamp Le Playage in the small size. And I have plenty of other videos on these bags. So I'll of course link those below. And coming up, I have a vintage handbag restoration for you guys and handbag reveal. So that is super exciting, but I won't be able to do that till next week because this weekend I'm off to Sydney. So I'll try and vlog that for you. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. We have a lot of exciting content coming and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye guys.